by every week, but they're hard riding. Straight shooting. And suspense. I'm the only one knows how to handle him. My father, the chief of the Indian tribe, gave him to me. You're not an Indian. I know it. As a matter of fact, I'm running away from the tribe. You don't make sense. Look, silly. It's all very simple. When I was a baby, my parents and I were on our way to California, where we inherited a gold mine. We were coming across the plains, a big covered wagon. Indians attacked like lightning. Daddy tried to run for it, but they outnumbered us. During the fight, I fell from the wagon. I would have been killed, except the Indians took me to their camp. My mother and Daddy both got killed. The chief raised me like his own little girl. Then, then how come you're running away? I want to see the world. But you're all alone. Sure, but I'm not scared. The Indians taught me a lot of things. Like what? Like how to blaze a tree and follow tracks, and what wild berries eat and how to shoot wild game with a bow and arrow. Gosh. You want to eat with me? I'm going to make camp now. Nuh-uh. I got to get home. Say, why don't you come and have dinner with us? Annie wouldn't mind. Annie? She's my sister. Well, I don't know. I was planning to get to Texas by next week for the wagon races. I'm going to win enough prize money to buy supplies and things to keep me going. Gosh, you could stay just for tonight. We got lots of room. I I never found out your name. Sugarfoot Sue. It's what the Indians call me. I don't know my real name. I'm Tag Oakley. You want to come? Well, I guess one day wouldn't matter. OK, Tag. Come on. Annie's the best cook in the whole world. <laughs> Sugarfoot Sue. I met her out on the trail. She lived with the Indians. Going to Texas to attend the wagon races. Ah, uh, it's true. And she lived off of wild game and berries. She's gonna stay with us tonight. Nobody would believe stories like that, Tag. I bet you don't even know any Indians. And I don't think you can drive a wagon either. I can too. That's my pa's wagon there in front of the store. Let's see you drive it. Well, you see, the wagons we race were a lot bigger. Kind of stogans and sometimes stagecoaches. If you race big wagons, that one ought to be easy. All right. You want to give up? Better not do it, Sue. Just give me room. Yeah! you'd never driven a team before. It was those spooky old horses. I just wasn't used to them. Tag, you should have had better sense. Gosh, Annie, I thought she was different. 
Not just an ordinary girl. She said she lived down the trail. Shot game with the bow and arrow and things. Sue, I'd like to talk to you. What is all this about your living with the Indians? Uh, I did, really. Oh, now look, youngster, Lofty. you... Did the Indians make you work very hard? Oh, yes, very. May I see the other one? It doesn't look like you work very hard, does it? You know, Sue, we can't help you unless you tell us the truth. Now, where do you live? Well, I... I can answer that, miss. I'm Frank Ryan, uh, Susan's father. Uh, a young man outside told me she was here. Is she in uh, some kind of trouble? Oh, nothing serious, Mr. Ryan. Her imagination just got the best of her. Again? Susan, how many times have I told you to use good sense? I'm sorry. Being sorry is not enough. I've spent half the afternoon looking high and low for you. Tag, why don't you and Sue go on outside? Lofty and I'll talk to Mr. Ryan. Okay, sis. Come on, Susan. Mr. Ryan, I'm Annie Oakley, and this is Deputy Sheriff Lofty Craig. Mr. Ryan, how do you do? I'll have to apologize for Susan. Just don't know what I'm going to do with that child. No need to apologize. Kids all make up stories. <laughs> Not like Susan. Ever since her grandfather Barker left her the ranch in his will, it's been getting worse. Oh, are you the folks from out at the Barker place? Yes. But I assure you, we won't be there long. I intend to sell out as soon as possible and get back east. That's good land, Mr. Ryan. For farming and ranching both. Oh, I suppose so. But it's not my line. I'm an accountant by trade. And I'm afraid there's not much need for that here in Diablo. Well, what does Sue think about you going back east? Oh, not much, I'm afraid. But then I guess most children would prefer it out here. More like in the storybooks. Well, have you ever tried to find out why Sue makes up her stories? Oh, what do you mean? Well, she's carrying her fantasies a little too far. There's probably a reason for it. Oh, whatever it is, I couldn't tell you. Maybe Tag could help her. Someone her own age might be just what she needs. Oh, I hope so. I've tried every way I know to stop her. I should have known better than to trust a girl. You trust your sister, don't you? Sure, but that's different. Gosh, bet you're proud of your sister, aren't you? You bet. Wish my daddy did something exciting. He's just an accountant. Well, gosh, everybody can't be a hero, except in fairy tales. I never heard any of those. Daddy says it isn't good for children to hear about things that aren't true. Why are you always telling stories? No, oh, you just wouldn't understand. One was secret? I don't care. I know where there's a treasure. See? There you go again. No, honest. This time I'm telling the truth. I saw it. Where? In an old chest. Out near Boulder Canyon. Must have been left by pirates or something. Pirates only by the ocean. Well, it's there anyway. I can prove it. If you're kidding now, it's the truth. I'll meet you here in town tomorrow morning. I'll show you. Well, OK. Susan, get your pony. We're going back to the range. Yes, Daddy. Lofty's going to ride out with you. Oh, swell. Daddy, will you do something for me? What? Buy a hat like Lofty's. A real cowboy hat. A uh, hat won't change what I am, Susan. The sooner you realize that, the better off you'll be. But, Daddy... The answer is no. Now, please, dear, try and be practical, just for once. Fresh horses, boys. Hurry up, cut them out. Hey there, leave them horses alone. Just stand quiet, Pop, and you won't get hurt.
sloppy. Are you hurt? Uh, it's just an arm wound. Quit your worrying. I'm sure glad you weren't hurt bad, Lofty. Want to know a secret? Yes, what? So am I. You know, I could play like I was Florence Nightingale and nurse you back to health. Oh, that's a good idea. Tell you what, you be Florence Nightingale and uh, I'll be the dashing English soldier. Okay. Lofty, I wish you wouldn't encourage her imagination. Anything you say, Frank. Like Annie said, little fantasy's good for kids. Fantasy doesn't pay bills. No, I suppose it doesn't. Here, you better take one of these. No, I don't need any of those, thanks. Bye, Sue. Bye. Thanks again, Frank. Patch me up. You're welcome. I gotta hold up somewhere and get this wound cleaned up. This is an abandoned mine about a mile ahead. Good. We'll head for there and stay overnight. We gotta have some supplies. You and the boys can get them tomorrow, then we'll head out for the border. What if somebody spots us? Well, shoot your way out. Be as good as new in a week. Say, where's Tag? I didn't see him inside. Oh, he and Sue went out treasure hunting. Oh, his idea? No, Sue's. She says she knows right where it is. Get hold of these minutes, You know, honey, I got the feeling that, well, if Frank would spend a little more time with Sue, his whole problem would be solved. I'm sure it would. But how do we convince him? It's a good question. I'll admit she can sure make up some whoppers, though. <laughs> she sure can. You better take this. Hey, Annie, look. What's wrong? Those are the men that stole Frank's horses. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm positive. Hey, you there! You fool! You've still got to go up that hill and start a long walk back to jail. There it is. Doesn't look like a treasure chest to me. You just wait and see. Here, let me try it. There's nothing in there. Just an old trunk, but it looked like a treasure chest. Did you look inside it? No, but I was sure it was full of gold lying out here like that. No. I didn't know. Where you going? Home. But Tag, maybe the treasure's still around here someplace. Somebody could have moved it. There never was any treasure, and you know it. All you ever do is make things up. Well, I'm never going to believe you again, ever. Oh, 
least one of them. No doubt about it. I'm never going to trust another woman again as long as I live. Hey, what happened? We had a run-in with two of the rustlers, Tag. Sounds like you got worse trouble anyway. What's all this about women? Well, you see, Sugarfoot Sue and... Susan been telling you stories again. Yes, about a buried treasure. Only it turned out to be just an old trunk. Where is she now? I guess out in Boulder Canyon. Probably dreaming up some more fibs. You shouldn't have left her out there alone. Oh, nothing could happen to Ranny. If she ever did get into trouble, she could always lie her way out. Tag Oakley. I'm sorry, Annie. I don't blame the boy, Annie. But I've got to put a stop to this once and for all. Maybe what Susan needs is a good spanking. I think understanding would help an awful lot more, Mr. Ryan. Well, what do you mean? Susan's a child with normal childish desires. Dreams, imagination, fantasy. They're all a part of growing up, and they're important to children. I've always tried to be a practical man, Miss Oakley. And I've tried to bring up Susan the same way. Exactly. Maybe you've been too practical. Maybe if Susan had had a chance to pretend once in a while with you, she wouldn't want to be doing it alone. You mean, uh, you want me to, uh, encourage this fairy tale nonsense? To a point, yes. And he's right, Frank. The most fun I had as a kid was pretending. We all grow up soon enough. I thought I was right. I'm sure you did. But if you're right, how is that going to stop Susan from lying? Seems to me it'll only make it worse. I don't think so. If Susan finds a healthy outlet for her imagination, and she knows you approve, I don't think her stories will get her in nearly as much trouble. I'm going to ride out and find her. Chief, maybe there's some buried treasure up here. Vic. We were spotted in town. Annie Oakley got him. We had to take a long way around to get back. Anybody follow you? No, but we better head out of here. Yeah, we'll hold up here until nightfall. Better get the horses inside. Jess, you stay out here and keep watch. I've been looking for you. I found the rushes, Daddy. They're back there. Susan, are you telling stories again? Mm, it's not a story, Anna. Come and look for yourself. All right, I will, young lady. But I'm warned. If you're not telling the truth, I'm going to paddle your backside good. Now show me where they are. Yeah, so yes, you've got to help him. What do we do? Call out the cavalry? Well, look, Sue, you're gonna have to stop this. Imagination's fine, but up to a point. But it's true. 
Sure, sure. And everyone could go on another wild goose chase. Oh, Tag, I know you think I'm lying, but I'm not. I promise I'm not. That's what you said about the Indians and the buried treasure. I know it, but this time it's true. You, I, you got to believe me. Sue, I'm sorry, but I've got too much to do here. I haven't time to take a ride that I honestly believe would be for nothing. Oh, Annie! Ooh, what's the matter with you? Oh, Annie, you've got to help me. You just got to. Oh, what's the matter? Well, she says she's found the rustlers. Says Frank has them surrounded. It's the truth, I promise. Oh, Annie, you've got to believe me. You've just got to. My daddy's in danger. Those tears aren't a lie, Lofty. Sue's telling the truth. Sue, can you take us to where your daddy is? Yes, oh, yes. Please hurry. Can I go, sis? All right, Taggart. You've got to promise to keep Sue out of danger when we get there. All Come right. On. Stay here and tie off the horses. All right, Annie. Get the horses, we'll try and bust out of here. Team any day, Frank. Oh, Daddy, you were so brave. You did have them surrounded, didn't you? I'm afraid, honey, it was a little more the other way around. You got Annie Lofty here just in time. Well, we almost didn't come at all. Yeah, we thought Sue was just telling another one of her tall tales. I promise, cross my heart, that I'll never tell a story again as long as I live. And gosh, I don't have to, because now I can tell the truth all about my daddy and how brave he is. You know something, honey? When we get back into town, I'm going to buy a hat. Like Lofty's? Just like Lofty's. So I can run that ranch of ours. <laughs> 